up peeps we're back um, so in the last video we installed the Python tools so that we could use Python within Visual Studio because Microsoft has this really good um, integrated development environment also known as an IDE so in this video what we're gonna do is um, we couldn't compile the application because it couldn't find the Python interpreter so depending on what version of Python you have installed uh, you just need to go over to debug and then um, click on options and settings and then when you look down at um, the left hand column here you're going to see uh, there is a D no, shit. okay down here at Python tools you click on that and then just go to your interpreter options and then your default interpreter that's in my case it was set to the wrong one yours you may not have to do this depending on what Python you have but I have Python 2.7 um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now, watch what happens when you click uh, play. Like it ran the program and immediately killed it. So, uh, to prevent that from closing, um, you're going to want to go to uh, tools and then options. And then what we're going to do is uh, go back to the Python tools. We're going to uh, go to debug. Um, Crap, I was just in this earlier and I. Oh, okay, here it is, sorry. Uh, wait for input when, proce when process exits normally. Okay, so basically, watch what this does. Basically, it adds an additional command on the command prompt for every program that you run, so that way you just have to hit a button to close it. So. Uh, Press play and you see press any key to continue. So um, that's how we end up um, installing Python to work within this uh, IDE. So um, that that's it. Um, so anyway, please subscribe and thank you for everybody's support and the videos and things like that. So uh, I appreciate all your help and um, you have a good day. Bye.